Hi guys! So I'm gonna do, don't mind me sweating, it's hot here and I just carried a, like 25,000 bags into the house and stuff. So um, I did a haul for my surgery. Um, I kind of went by what the surgeon had on the papers, which wasn't a lot of stuff actually, but I just watched, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, following a lot of YouTubers, and I'm just going by what they needed and um, things that I just wanted to get. I didn't get my food stuff. Um, because that would be silly because sorry I still have a little over two weeks um, today's Saturday this coming Wednesday then it'll be two weeks from Wednesday but I'm just excited and I just wanted to get some of the stuff done out of the way which I was crazy I went to Walmart on a Saturday what was I thinking I for, always know not to do that but um I need to get more mulch because I'm trying to get all my stuff outside done my all my stuff to my yard before my surgery and I'd like to get my house cleaned really really good that way I don't have to worry about it so, um, anyways, let's see what we got. Let me show you all of it. So, here we go. Put you right here. Hope you guys can see. I know that lighting sucks. It always makes it so dark because I put you guys... You know what? Let's try putting these at the other end see if that helps. I'm trying to crawl across my floor here. That's better. Anyways, let's see. So, my mom thinks that she has a heart pillow, which was from back when my stepdad had open heart surgery. They gave this really firm pillow to him, and he put he would put it on his chest whenever he had to cough or sneeze or something like that, or clear his throat. So, I, my mom thinks she has one, but she's not positive if she knows where it's at. So, I went ahead and just bought this small pillow, so I figure I could push it like on me real hard. If not, I might use it like under my legs or something. Who knows? And I bought some socks because I just needed more socks. And I'm always, like, searching for socks. So I didn't want anybody to have to search for socks for me. They told me to get some compression socks to help with swelling and to help with, um, I think it's mostly just to help with swelling. So I got a pair of those. I bought two different sets of these. Somebody suggested, um, let me fix you here, guys. Someone suggested get bendy straws. That way you're not trying to sit up to take drinks, like the first few days especially. So I bought the, I bought two different sets um, of straws. I mean, I'll use them afterwards too, and it has a little brush to clean them. They're silicone ones. And I got these slip-on tennis shoes that you don't have to tie. I got these. I needed another pair of tennis shoes for around the house, and I thought they were cute. I got them so that uh, for after surgery. Um, I got two different pair of, like, pants. I got these ones because I might wear them around the house too. And then I got these ones. I think these ones are longer. I think the other ones are capris. I got these, but I got them in a bigger, big size, and I probably won't even need that big a size. And I was trying to find, everybody said to get um, nightgowns. Um, well, my niece said she slept, lived in nightgowns for like a week, because then you just go to the potty and just pull your nightgown up and go pee, so, and poop. So, I got this one to wear like the first day, especially the first couple days, because it's black, because I know I'm going to be leaking blood from my um, liposuction, especially when I'm going to have my son do those mas the, the massages. I'm going to have him watch the videos. But these are nice and summery. They're really long. That's the only bad thing. And I'm really short. But worse comes to worse. I don't care. I'll chop the bottom of them off. But they had that one. And then this is actually a dress. But it, I thought it would be work good for uh, that. It's kind of nice because this one actually has pockets. So I got those three. Um, I didn't find a zip up jacket. They had no zip up anything. Uh, the only thing they had button up at Walmart was um, like thing you wear over your swimming suit so that was see-through so I couldn't wear that home but I have a couple zip-up jackets I'm just gonna wash one of my zip-up jackets and then I'll just put that on after surgery with my pants and not worry about anything else it's warm as it's been here I might just be wearing shorts but who knows and um, everybody says that you need because the first 24 or 48 hours not a lot of showers so I got some different wipes I'd already grabbed these flushable wipes and then I got these for my face um, and then when I was in the section with like the, um, stuff for like elderly people with like walkers and stuff like that, um, they had these, uh, wa bath washcloths. So I got those and then I bought the big box of puppy pads for whoever's car I ride home in so I don't get blood in their car. And then for sitting on my recliner the first few days, I bought the big box cause my puppy's coming home three days before the beforehand. So it was cheap to get just, you get 50 of them for like 10 bucks. So, uh, let's see, I got a thing of band-aid, just in case I need any band-aids to put on any of my sites after, like, the, um, tubes come out and stuff. One hand got a thing of Neosporin, one person said to get that. I already have some here, but I have no idea where it's at. I got alcohol wipes to clean 
that round stuff. I got the tape, so if I need to tape the tape on my incision, this kind of comes off easy. Um, let's see, I got, and if anybody's changing my dressing or when are uh, doing my tubes and uh, my drains, I went ahead and bought a couple things of hand sanitizer. So I'll keep one in my little thing beside me. And then I bought these. These are like the best invention ever. I don't know if everyone's heard of these, but they're called, they're acupuncture bands. And what they are is you put them on, and my mom bought, bought these years ago from when she would fly or she would go on like a cruise or anything. Because if you get motion sickness, and she bought me a set because I used to get car sick. And then I bought my set, my son a set for when we drove down to Florida and back. And he still got a little car sick, but it wasn't nowhere near as bad as it used to be. I gave him that Dramamine or whatever it is for that. But they say you get, can get real nauseous after your surgery. So I'm going to have these on me. I'm just going to wear probably wear whatever pants I wear. I'm just going to stick these in the pocket. And I'm going to put them on afterwards. Because my niece said she made it almost home and then she got sick and threw up. So, And then, this might sound terrible, but I bought a lot of stuff for going number two. Because I'm not dealing with that. Because for years in my life, I have I was had that issue. And I was like, yeah, I'm not dealing with that. Oh, I also got um, Pepto-Bismol, too, if my stomach's upset. Um, so I went ahead and bought a lot of different things. Um, I bought the... I oh bought... What? I bought an enema, just in case. I bought Epsom salts, because you can actually make this in water and drink it, and you'll go to the bathroom within 20 minutes. I got stool softeners, and then I got Miralax, Clearlax. So don't even care. I buy it anyways. And then I got dial soap because they said I have to bathe with dial soap like three day, two or three days before and afterwards. And then I got antibacterial, that kind too. And everybody said get these just in case because your throat will be really raw from your surgery. And you, if you suck on these, then you're not going to start trying to cough. And then your lips are usually chapped from the tube. So I got this. I got some more melatonin because I take that at night. Um else did I get? Oh, they told me to keep, start taking multivitamins, which I do take them, but just, I'm almost out. And um, I, up until my surgery, and they want me to continue taking them after, which helps with healing. And then I got Tylenol. This is like a generic brand because you can't take anything but Tylenol. Um, and just in case I am really sick and I can't keep anything down, I grabbed a thing of adult Pedialyte with no sugar. I grabbed some, they told me to get protein shakes because the first few days you don't eat any, you really want to eat. So I got two things of protein shakes. I got some saltines without salt, and then I got three different things of sugar-free Gatorade for the first few days. I don't really like Gatorade, but I will drink it. And then I got this, Absorbing Junior, because everyone says your back hurts. So I won't be able to do it on my sides because that's where I'm getting my liposuction, but like if my middle back or whatever or my shoulders start bothering me, my mom uses this and she loves this stuff. So that's all I've gotten so far, guys. I, um, the gauze and stuff I didn't buy because my mom has a lot of that medical stuff from when my stepdad was alive. So I didn't buy that kind of stuff. I mean, I still have to get the food stuff to actually eat, but I'm going to wait to do that till like a couple days before. But that's all we got for the surgery so far, and that's most of we, what I needed. I know a lot of the stuff I probably won't use, but I'll, I'll use it eventually, so it's not a big deal. So, all right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye.